welcome back to an even dirtier shop than the last time you left me. <laughs> it's been a really, really good time building here in the shop, one little thing at a time. Uh, it's, it's, it looks like a CB. It absolutely looks like a CB. It's amazing. And I will note that I took time to put some LED lights in it. These are stripped from another airplane. Got tip lights as well as a landing light. I'll make a piece of plastic that bends over that. Just heat gun and soda bottle kind of that thing. Uh, not, not anything particularly difficult to do. Just got to do it. And let's see, we have the wing saddle that is completed and painted so I can put that window in the fuselage. The servo lines, the extensions have been run inside the wing already, taped and ready to receive servos. Uh, so the, <laughs> the servos have been treated with Corrosion X. I got some Corrosion X, treated them. And then I used some of this marine grease, uh, put it, smeared it onto a, a neoprene O-ring and that is sandwiched uh, here between the servo arm and the servo. And that's just a little bit of extra insurance. So in addition to that, I've done some rebuilding here where I had this uh, hard bass piece that I had to rebuild and get everything situated here. I do want to place this, the, uh, the ESC up here. That's what this little piece of Velcro is for. But really I want to keep it here because I want some active airflow as it goes through the nacelle that's going to be here. And if it's buried in the fuselage, it's not going to get any of that active air. So holes in a boat, right? We don't want holes in our boat. So the hole is above the boat. Um, so I'd like to keep it here, but if I need some extra weight in the nose, I may end up moving it forward because I am pretty undersized uh, for that. I think I'm only estimated to pull like 32 amps and that's a 45 amp ESC. So I should be good to hide it in there and take some of that heat, but we'll see. Uh, yeah, my prediction is that we're going to be a little bit tail heavy. Reason being, we use a lot of metal hardware on the tail for the linkage. We didn't want any of that to flex. Makes sense. Uh, so that's the trade off, right? You put metal in the tail, you got to offset it in the nose. That being said, uh, I wanted to move forward. Uh, I wanted to film this first to sh show you the progress. Uh, having everything sheeted is a huge milestone. Uh, obviously shaped the wingtips and sanded everything nice. But before I glass this, I do want to cut away the ailerons and the flaps. Reason being is that I prefer to glass the, the, the pockets or whatever the, the, the surface is the mating surface between the control surface and the wing. I prefer to do that first. And then when I do the glass overlay here separately, it creates a more seamless finish. And if you do it vice versa, it, you'd end up having to do patchwork and a lot more fill and that's more work. And I just want to avoid that. So I'm going to cut these off. I'm going to sand them and shape them and make sure they're ready to be glassed as well. And then we'll be set. Do some glass, fill the weave, and that'll be good. As I work on that, then we'll have to do the nacelle. Uh, you know, the, the nacelle is going to be a custom thing. We have formers down here on the plans that I still need to cut out, but I still have the pontoons to build. I have struts that need to go from the fuselage up to the wing, and then a strut from the wing down to the pontoon. There's plenty more to build is what I'm trying to say. Plenty more to build, but I don't have a whole lot of time. Uh, I'd really like to get this done by the end of September. Uh, I got the wing done uh, first day of September. <laughs> I had wanted to get it done by the end of September, but missed it by a day. So I'm on track, but big things are coming. Um, that being said, I want to make a cor quick correction. Uh, two things from my last video. I had assumed wrongly that the extra ribs were a typo, wrong. Uh, the, the wings were designed to be three piece, a center fuselage section and then two plug in outer wing sections. And had I, had I done that, I would have had that extra wing rib at the joint where the wings would, would slide on. So that's, that's on me. I forgot about that. 
because I'm focused on one piece wing. Uh, the other one is on the plans. So on the plans here, you have this outline for the spar. You have 5 16 specified for rear spar and 3 8 specified for front spar. Okay. In addition to the front spar, you also have this 1 16th piece of ply that goes on the aft portion of that spar. Translate over here, you have the spar and then that 1 16th inch piece of ply and that dotted square right there, just, you know, in front of the CG mark, okay? If you look at the plan where the bottom line is for a former F5, it matches up with there. And that's a result of just awesome people that watch my videos, okay? <laughs> I cannot thank that viewer enough. I need to look that up real quick. 10745. I know you. I mean, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry I forgot your name. Anyway, absolutely right. You pointed it out to me. But again, this is why we have a community. This is why we have the AMA and clubs and other community based organizations because that's how we get help with the things that we just we're too close to it. We don't see it. And thank you. That's all I can say. Uh, you guys are the real heroes when you tune in and you watch these videos and you help me out because honestly, that's how I learn stuff too. And then I bring it back and we all learn as a community. So good on you, Tench. I again, really appreciate you chiming in on that comment. It's amazing. Uh, yeah, so we're building up to building season. It's going to be a wild ride. Okay, so a little bit of a spoiler. I will be participating in a collaboration build uh, sponsored by Dubro and a couple other sponsors. Uh, it's going to be big. It's going to be really, really fun. And it's I hope you tune in. Okay, it's it's bigger than my channel. Okay, I'll just say that some details will be covered on this channel. Uh, but more the nitty gritty things. The other things will be covered elsewhere. Not not going to say any more than that. OK, but it's coming. Uh, we're going to make start making some announcements in October. So be watching for that uh, until next time. You know, make sure you're again stopping by Dubro RC or Dubro.com and picking up the stuff that you need for your winter builds because it's coming up a lot faster than you think and check out with Josh 10 and you'll get 10% off your cart. Thank you. Thank you so much for stopping by the shop, checking out the progress of the CB. I cannot wait to finish this airplane. It's going to be so fun to see it flying in the air before long. Until next time, guys, make sure you're working hard on your flying works of art.